Well, good morning, beautiful people. It's me, Sam, from your friendly neighborhood, Dynamite Food Paper Company, and I am here to review Black Panther Wakanda Forever. This is a big review, guys. First of all, I'm going to start with a big positive. Uh, Namor and his people um, were the best part of this movie, hands down. Um, yeah, they were incredible. Every time they were on screen, I... I I loved it, you know, and it, it was it was amazing seeing um, my culture being represented in a big Marvel film like this. So, um, yeah, I, I can't remember the guy's name that plays Namor, but he is great. Great. Unfortunately, let's get into the negatives. Um, this is an overlong film. This is two hours and 41 minutes that could have easily been cut down to um, like at least two hours and 20 minutes, maybe even two hours and 10 minutes. There's a lot of subplots and, uh, side characters that, you know, are kind of there to just further the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And, uh, it took away from the overall experience, um, especially, you know, with all the characters here recovering from, um, King T'Challa's death, you know, Shadow Boseman's death, um, Another thing that I would say, um, I like Letitia Wright, and I, I'm, I'm going to tread lightly on this. I like her as a supporting character. I really do. I love her, in fact. But as a lead, I just do not think that she can carry the film, and she does the best she can. Everyone does the best that they can to, to kind of carry the film. But I, I just, I don't think that she has the it factor to carry a movie like this and the, it is missing a strong lead central character here angela bassett is incredible i mean i i understand the supporting actress nomination talks that it's going on here um a lot of the fight scenes are really cool you know and then a lot of them are you know not so great um the film is dull and when i mean that it's it's just there's a lot happening and yet there's nothing happening um, I was going to give this movie a very strong three out of five, you know, I was going to give it a fresh rating, but I will say that the ending was just beautiful. I mean, um, stay for the mid credits because that just bumped up my rating to a, a very, very light three and a half out of five. I don't have to tell you to go watch this movie because you're going to watch it. I think it's important. I think it's a solid, messy, but beautiful tribute to Chadwick Boseman. It's not as great as the first one, but it's a decent follow-up. Um, and I might be watching this again. So, guys, thank you so much, and stay safe out there.